Hi, in this Alice 3 tutorial, uh, we're going to learn how to use if else statements and how to use functions. So to get started, we're going to open up a new grass world. So I'll just click on grass and click OK. And we're just going to add two objects to our scene. So if we click on setup scene, um, we need to add one teen um, or adult or elders. Uh, anything works really. I'm going to go with a teen. So if I just double click. Um, I can bring up all their clothes options. I'm just going to use a male teen and I'll just give him these jeans and that sweater. Okay. I'll name him teen person. And I'm going to use the um, snap option to uh, make his placement a little more precise. So if you click here and click on use snap, a grid comes up and you can actually move your objects based on this grid. So I'm going to put him on this intersection right here. And I'm also going to bring in a penguin. For some reason, the penguin is in the fire classes, even though penguins don't fly. Uh, we'll drag in a penguin, an adult penguin. Just name him penguin. Press OK. Um, then we'll snap him onto the same line that the teen is standing on. And we'll snap him about that distance away. Okay, uh, next we're going to resize the penguin. So if we click on the resize tool, uh, we want to resize the penguin so he's about the almost the exact same height as the teen. So I think that's good right there. And we want to do this because we're going to use a function later to determine which one's actually taller. And the next thing we're going to do is make the penguin and the teen turn and face each other. So I'll click on the penguin first. Oh, I need to go to the default tool. Click on the penguin first. And I'm going to hover my mouse over the ring around his feet. And I'm going to drag the ring. And when you have the snap tool open, the ring will actually snap to like certain degrees. So I can snap him to 90 degrees facing the teen. I'll do the same thing with the teen. I'll make him face the penguin. There we go. Okay, and now we're actually ready to start um, setting up our methods. Um, so we'll go back to editing our code now. And so the point of this world is to check which object is taller, the teen or the penguin, and then make them do a victory dance and say, ha, I'm taller, if they actually are taller than the other person. And in order to do that, we need to use the object's functions, and we need to use if-else statements. So the very first thing we're going to drag into my first method is an if-else statement. And this can be found down here. It looks like um, just an if block. We'll drag it up into my first method, and we'll set its default condition to true. And so what we want to do, if, if the penguin is taller than the teen, we want the penguin to spin around and say, ha, I'm taller. If the teen is taller than the penguin, then we want the teen to spin around and he, we want him to say, ha, I'm taller. So this if else statement lets us do that. Any statement we drop into this top block here will execute if this condition is true. If this condition is false, anything this statement will occur. So what we want to do, first we want to define our condition. So the first thing we're going to do, um, we want to compare the penguin and teen's heights. So the first thing we need to do, so the penguin's height and the teen height, they're both decimal values. So in Alice 3, in order to compare decimal values, you need to um, click on the arrow next to the true, and we're going to change that true. Um, we need um, re relational decimal number comparators, and we want to grab the greater than comparator, so this one. And it's going to ask for two default numbers, we're just going to do <coughs> one and one. And now um, we can drag in the teen's height and the penguin's height into these two blocks. So first we'll select the penguin. We'll select the whole penguin. We'll go to the penguin's functions, and we want the function that gets his height. We'll take this height and drag it over the one, over that the left one. So and now we want the teen's height. So we'll select the teen. Um, go to his functions. We'll grab his height and put it over that one. So now if the penguin's height is greater than the teen person's height, we want the penguin to do his victory dance. So we'll go back to the penguin's procedures. 
and we want the penguin. Oh, first we need to put a do together because we want this to happen. We want these two things to happen at the, at the same time. So drag and do together from the bottom, and then we'll put in a penguin turn inside that do together, and we'll make him turn left. We'll make him turn one revolution. Then we'll drag in a penguin say. So drag in this top penguin say. And we'll do a custom texturing and we'll make them say, ha, I'm taller, exclamation mark. So this statement will occur if the penguin's taller. However, if the person's taller, which would be, which would make this statement up here false, we want the team person to do his dance. So we'll drag in our do together and then we'll drag in all the team person's procedures. So we'll drag in a turn Make him turn left, one revolution, and then we'll make him say the same thing as the penguin. Ha, I'm taller. So now we have all the code we need to check which one's taller. So if we run the world, so click run. Okay, it looks like the person, the teen person's taller. And we can check to make sure that this code is actually working properly. We can go back to setup scene and manually resize our penguin to make him to make him definitely taller than the teen. So make him that big. He's definitely taller now. If we click run now, yep, the penguin does the victory dance as he should. So now we'll resize our penguin back down to his original height, and you can do that just by hitting the undo button. Yep, shrinks him back down. So now he's shorter than the teen again.